For the first time, high-sensitivity images of infrared light from Mars were obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope. On Monday, September 19th, during the Europlanet Science Congress, EPSC 2022, the first photos and spectra of Mars from the James Webb Space Telescope were made public. On September 5, 2022, JWST took pictures and took measurements at a distance of around a million miles from Mars. Webb's NearCam captured images of Mars's observable disk, the side of the planet lit by the sun and facing the telescope, which could give planetary scientists a new perspective on Earth's nearest neighbor and provide data that can be used in conjunction with observations from rovers, like NASA's Perseverance and spacecraft in Mars's orbit. Mars is not the simplest object for the JWST to perceive. Because of how near it is and how bright it is, the JWST was built to observe extremely distant and dim things. The difficulty of seeing Mars stems from its extreme brilliance. Scientists have to utilize relatively short exposures to examine Mars with the JWST because of the planet's intense infrared radiation. This necessitated selectively measuring the amount of light that hit JWST's detectors and then using unconventional techniques to decipher the results. To learn more about the atmosphere and the surface of Mars, scientists might use data obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope to analyze the spectrum of light observed emanating from the red planet. The Hellas Basin, which is 1,200 miles wide, looks darker than its surroundings, even at the warmest period of the Martian day. According to analysis of JWST photos conducted by lead investigator Giuliano Luisi and his colleagues, one of the neat things is you can see a dark patch that is the basin on Mars. We weren't expecting that. We were seeing something very bright, but it got darker, Luisi said. This is actually not a thermal effect at Hellas. In fact, light is dimmer at this quite well-impacted site on Mars because carbon dioxide in the atmosphere absorbs some of it. These new images also show how the James Webb Space Telescope's near-spec may be used to conduct spectroscopic research on Mars. The fingerprints left by various compounds in the light that has passed through a planet's atmosphere may be studied using spectroscopy, allowing planetary scientists to establish the planet's chemical makeup. In their preliminary findings, the scientists uncovered spectral characteristics that were encoded with data on Martian dust, ice clouds, atmospheric composition, and surface rocks. It is expected that the JWST will be able to detect substances such as water, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and others via its observations. Luisi mentioned the controversy over whether or not methane exists on Mars, citing the little information provided by ground-based sensors or rovers. Luisi thinks that JWST observations might be the deciding factor, despite the fact that ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, or TGO measurements, haven't been able to corroborate this and that observations from Earth are hindered by methane in our planet's atmosphere. For him, the main mystery has been that the rovers on the surface and the observational data we have left in the gap between 0 and 10 kilometers, or 6 miles, he said, because of James Webb, we can now see the whole column of atmosphere, down to the surface where the rover is located. In light of this problem, we provide a novel solution. As Luisi pointed out, methane is crucial because it may reveal to planetary scientists a wide range of geological events on Mars, including whether or not the red planet has recently been impacted by a massive extraterrestrial object. Biological activity on the planet's surface may have left traces of methane. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.